For a 45 degree hyper extension, generally you would use a 45 degree hyper machine. If you don't have that, there are a couple of hacks you can do. Um, I've actually got my barbell on the inside of my rack and that's going to allow me to push against it and use it as a cushion as for my hips in order to go through the exercise. If you're at home, you can always do this over the edge of your couch and either have someone hold your ankles or you can hook your ankles on something if you've got that available. But anything where you're able to make a slight 90 degree angle at your hips fold it forward, and then allow yourself to go into a hyperextension position. That's essentially what you're looking for. So from here, I'm going to hook my feet here on the edge of my rack. I'm going to place my hip crease on the top of the squat sponge, come down, and then come up. So a couple ways you can do the hyperextension. You can keep your back nice and flat and just go through the normal range of motion, squeezing the glutes at the top because this is actually more of a glute exercise than a back exercise. Um, or you could also go into a little bit more of a tuck. So you could posteriorly tilt the pelvis, tuck the glutes a little bit more, and actually round the upper back where you're thrusting the hips into the pad, and then you'll feel it a lot more in your glutes in some cases. Um, in order to progress this exercise, you can either put a band across your shoulders and hook it onto the bottom of your rack or the machine that you're using. Um, you can hold a kettlebell or a dumbbell or a plate weight like this, and go through the same range of motion. You could use chains, or you could even hold your weight down like this using a barbell or a kettlebell or dumbbell, something along those lines.